back to your feel-good breakfast show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. It's a brilliant Friday. The fires are lit. We're going to have a great weekend as well going into this December month. Now, it's a very special day as well. The 1st of December is World AIDS Day, and every year it's used to raise awareness and reflect on how far we've come in the global fight against the disease. Now, this morning we're joined by Professor Linda Gale Becker, who is the Deputy Director at the Desmond Tutu HIV Foundation. Professor, thank you very much for joining us, and welcome back. It's a great pleasure to be here. Thanks Lovely for having me. You. Yeah, we have our red ribbons, we're supporting as well. This is amazing. Now, I need to kick off with a big question. Are we slowly winning the fight? Because we can see that numbers are on the rise, and, and massively so as well. Well, the numbers that happily are going up are the number of people who are getting onto antiretroviral treatment, mm. which is the way we treat HIV. And we think there are about 38 million people in need of treatment around the world, and we just reached 21 million. In this country, we're on about 4 million. So... Uh, you know, we, I think we are doing pretty well. That's amazing because, I mean, we're taking a look at the numbers, 685,000 um, in the year 2000. I mean, that, that, is, that, that is where it kind of stands now. In 2000, you know, the situation was dire. So we've made some massive leaps and bounds with regards to treating HIV as well. Um, another one here, in the year 2000, there were only 90 people on treatment. Now, um, can I ask you, what did it take to get to where we are now? I'm sure it was a long and tough road as well. So, you know, I think it's been important that new drugs have been formulated and found. So treatment is much easier to take now. There are far fewer side effects. We're down to literally one pill a day um, that people need to take that treats their HIV, gets the viral load completely suppressed, and then those individuals uh, can live a normal life um, like mm. anybody who doesn't have HIV. But it's very important that individuals take the pill absolutely every mm. day. And get and access to it. Correct. Yeah. So, so that has been an <clears> enormous <throat> global effort to make mm. sure that those drugs are available to absolutely every corner of the world. And, of course, sub-Saharan Africa is particularly hard hit. Mm. And our country yeah. has, has really borne the brunt of the epidemic. Mm. So I think very exciting that we've made the progress we've made, but we're not there yet. Um, and there's still a lot of work to do. So today reminds us that we still have to roll up our sleeves and get back to the job and make sure that everybody who needs treatment gets treatment and that we prevent this, yeah. uh, this infection from spreading to others. But it's great to see how you've gained momentum over the past couple of years. And taking a look at just the past year alone, what are some of the major kind of developments that took place? Well, I think in, in the last year, I think there has been this recognition that if people take their treatment, that their virus is suppressed, then they're very unlikely to pass it on to others and to their unborn babies if they're pregnant. So mm -hmm. that's been a very important yeah. breakthrough. The other big recognition has been that we need to prevent HIV. I guess that's we've known for 30 years, but we now have new tools that help us to prevent HIV. And people might have heard of this new thing called uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis, oral PrEP, okay. uh, which is a, a, a treatment people can take if they're HIV negative to prevent them getting HIV infection. And then, very exciting, in this country we've launched now two major efficacy trials to find an HIV vaccine. Hmm. And so those clinical trials are underway, um, and soon we'll know whether we can actually prevent HIV by giving people hmm. vaccination. Thank you very much for joining us, Professor. I really appreciate it. The theme this year is Let's End It. So uh, a, a very book, uh, you know, round of applause, I would say, to you and your entire team. Continue the, the great work that you are doing. And to the public of South Africa and whoever may be watching this morning, wear your red ribbons and support this very, very worthy cause. Thank you.